Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I would like to share with all of you three messages given by Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal to Saint Catherine Labor. Therefore, please take a moment in sharing this video with others, as we hope that this video will reach as many people as possible to the conversion of sinners and salvation of souls. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of what is said within this video. As for God, all things are possible and with trust and love. Please join me and say come Holy Spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise, and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. In 1836, an official canonical inquiry was initiated by Archbishop Hyacinth Louis de Quan of Paris into the alleged visions. Saint Catherine was said to have refused to appear wishing that her identity be kept as a secret. Father All Adele, who was Saint Catherine's confessor pleaded to have her name kept as anonymous. Having its opinion on her confessor's stability, and the character of Saint Catherine, the tribunal decided to favor the authenticity of the visions. According to Catholic straight answers, the medal was declared to be of supernatural origin after a canonical inquiry at Paris in the year 1836. In the first apparition of Our Lady to Saint Catherine Labor in the year 1830, Our Lady said, Great troubles are about to happen in France, the danger will be great, but do not be afraid the good God in Saint Vincent will take care of the Sisters of Charity and the priests of the mission. My child, the cross of Jesus will be hated, many priests will be put to death. The Archbishop will die, the streets will run with blood. My child, the whole world will be filled with trouble and sorrow. My child, the good God wishes to give you a mission. Later I shall let you know what it is, you will have much to suffer but do not be afraid. The days are evil terrible things are going to happen in France. The king's throne will be overturned the whole world will be filled with trouble of every kind, but come to the foot of this altar often here many graces will be given to everyone who asks for them. They will be given to the rich and to the poor, the great and the lowly. The climax had been reached. A few months after the first apparition Our Lady said to Saint Catherine Labor, My child, I have a mission to entrust to you you will have too, suffer much in the performance of it but the thought that it will be for the glory of God will enable you to overcome all your trials. You will be opposed, but do not be afraid. Grace will be given you, tell all that takes place within you with simplicity and confidence. You will see certain things, you will receive inspirations in prayer, give an account of everything to him who has charge of your soul. My child, the times for evil and misfortunes are about to overwhelm France. The throne will be destroyed, and the whole world convulsed by all sorts of calamities. But, come to the foot of the Psalter. Here graces will be poured out on all who ask for them great or small. There will come a time when the danger will be great and it will seem that all is lost, but have confidence. You will feel that I am with you and that God and Saint Vincent are protecting. The communities have confidence do not be discouraged I shall be with you. There will be victims in other communities. There will be victims. Among the clergy of Paris the Archbishop will die. My child, the cross will be despised and trodden underfoot our Lord's side will be pierced anew the streets will run with blood and the whole world will be in sorrow. My eyes are always watching you, I shall grant you many graces, special graces will be given to all who ask for them, but people must pray. The apparition did not stop, and Our Lady appeared to Saint Catherine Labor once again. This ball which you see is the world, France in particular and each person individually. I am praying for it and for everyone in the world. The rays which fall on this ball are the graces which I give to those who ask for them, but
but there are no rays from. Some of the stones for many people fail to receive graces because they neglect to ask for them. Have a medal struck after this model all who were will receive great graces it should be worn around the neck. Great graces will be given to those who wear it with confidence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, from the accounts of these apparition we are once again reminded of the infinite mercy and love of God, and the great love with which our blessed Mother Mary has for us. Let us continue to trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, and ask for the prayers of our blessed Mother, despite of all pain and suffering. Knowing that the will of God for each one of us is perfect, and is for our good. Brothers and sisters, let us never forget to pray continuously for the conversion of all people that are non-Catholics, not forgetting to, to pray for all of our fellow Catholics that are lukewarm and have lost the fire for Christ. In these times, let us continue to persevere being in the state of grace, in all good works and in the love for God to the very end, as this is what really matters persevering to the very end with the help of God. And may we, at the end of our lives say I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me which the Lord, the just judge will award to me on that day and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle bear protection against the wickedness, and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray, and do thou O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who wander through the world for the ruin of souls, Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits Servant in the House of the Divine King in our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, almost gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored by help or sought by an intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me, Amen. To O blessed Joseph do we come in our afflictions and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. Almost watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy, and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven, Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together, to ask God for forgiveness over all of the mortal, venial, and public sins which we have committed. That he may grant us the grace to feel remorseful over all these sins, bring us to true repentance, and to give us the necessary graces to do all the penances in atonement for our sins, and to never commit these grievous sins any more. O oh my God, I am horribly sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of righteous punishments, but most of all because they offend thee my God who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time stay blessed and keep praying.